Terry Hughes, another uh, David Gilmore, Blue Moon, that I'm going to, I hope, with permission, um, read my own writings, where along with, and I humbly ask his permission, and I'm going to be grateful, very grateful. So, I'm going to start now. Sooner or later, these very insane night and days traverse streets will be rigidly cold again. Sooner than later, the shuffle of tableside cards I hear whistling as with a fetid breeze through the near and toward trees will leave me undecided about which direction to take towards any homeward. I feel lost everywhere I go, lost to the portents of timeless verbal exchange, lost and found to spiritual wanderings through the one all including practice of faith and mercy. I do not understand why people choose the lives they choose, some of them. Why does human cruelty come from? And if a man or a woman does a right hand turn while driving instead of a left, does that change the entire course of history? It is only because uh, two earliest and procreates ate an apple in an ancient garden so that their creator had forbidden them that so much pain and suffering coexists with hearts and depths of ecstatic joy. Again and again. Skulls and crossbones farther elsewhere through time and place than you or I ever decide and enumerate each doorway I pass. The passing hours vomit and spit the linear and non-linear four syllabic syllogisms sometimes and drink alone. Is it really true? Does iambic pentameter fill the telephone booth of yesteryear with tomorrow's mules on wheels recipients? Do the dotted lines of the prototypal highway permit my parting and asking you to dance? Do pickle jars vanish from the supermarket shelves nine months before April? Yes, all of this above and much, much more. The moose wore of John Hancock's proud shoes for horns. High sculptors of Antony and Cleo skate the wintry basketball courts and weave wicker baskets shipwreck of ebbing, post-structuralist Hollywood ketchup shirts and sidewalk billowing white skirts. While some women are the greatest physical, intellectual beauty are by first and fame objectified, objectified, by unvictrolid misogamy is four cousins. So go on and mattress tag the albino spider web. Hang your fame above the ice, ice cube bleeding hot water. 20 miles south of the Canadian border. I guess you ought to not shoot hoops from half court. 
you know, the brim of your hat with the suburban slant. You think you can bleed wine from a hypha? Proof your whiskey, your whiskey with cast whiskers, half sister Valentine's. It certainly ain't there for the scene halfway through. It's the other worlds pulsing within you. Is it possible? Is it really possible? A two-foot-long mist of graffiti spray is dancing the octopus macabre from the heavyweight contender till this very day. In every sentence, the ladies from the valley and the mountains put together is a rabbit pulled out of midnight Rosalie's coal mine helmet. I can understand to the right of me is a hand of my ear with no one attached to it. I plant whatever man sits beside that wax dripping ear twenty rows back as far as sensory perception concerns itself. Into intangibilities, bottle whining time, carburetting the swashbuckling piston depths, and hats where and withal ferments, caricature and portrait, a sheath and sword. And my own motifs rob my own metaphors blind. The last train south was all aboard her passage of another sort, and the sun holds her sinking in her very own palm of hand. Although all beauty born of comparative incongruation cannot be lost in any translation. Sad had thought of all being sane, no first hand by the blind Argentine. No first hand by the blind Argentine.